As smartphones continue to grow smarter, many people are now rejecting the increased connectivity and taking a huge step backward. Embraced by average mobile users and high-profile figures alike, including British actor Eddie Redmayne, the dumb phone is making a comeback, and it can only perform the most basic functions. Ditching complex handsets, dumb phone users actually have to use their phones as a phones, limiting functionality to calls and texts, and freeing up time otherwise spent glued to a screen. While non-smartphones have become less visible in the last few years, they haven't entirely been wiped off the shelves. These basic phones, called feature phones do little else above making calls or texts. Some can play music, or access the internet, but according to the Financial Times, there's still a demand for them, though it's vastly outweighed by demand for current capabilities. A study by research group Strategy Analytics estimated that 44M of these basic phones were sold in 2015 just 2-2 percent of the global market. Dumb phone enthusiasts have numerous reasons for turning their backs on smart devices. Many argue that smartphones are broken easily and can't hold a charge despite the steep prices, and the advanced capabilities are unnecessary for the average person. Actor Eddie Redmayne even reportedly made the leap, and is quoted as saying the move was a reaction against being glued permanently to my iPhone during waking hours. Some even choose to have the best of both worlds, using a smartphone or fabled when needed and switching to a smaller, basic phone when it's more convenient. But, phones with limited capabilities aren't just a way to escape the barrage of emails, or disconnect from social media. Basic phones are known to maintain their battery lives much longer, making them more reliable, and these types of phones are also commonly given to children and elderly people. They're durable, easy to use, and cheap to replace. Both Microsoft and Samsung still produce basic phones. The Nokia 215, a brand that's now owned by Microsoft, can hold its charge for 29 days and the Nokia 515 can go to 38 days. Geared specifically for the elderly, phones like those produced by Doro have larger buttons, and Francisco Geronimo, research director for European mobile devices at IDC, tells the Financial Times that this type of device is becoming a niche opportunity. For many users, a smartphone just isn't a practical or realistic option at all. Using a smartphone in some countries in Africa, for instance, is not an option for many users, as it would require to charge it on a daily basis, Geronimo told FT. On the other hand using a smartphone means little for users who cannot connect to a 3G network, either because they are not available or because the connectivity is extremely expensive.